Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans back for Tuts Plus, and here's a quick tip video on quick and dirty uh, stereo effects and how to quickly set them up. And it's probably one of the most creative ways of, of creating a stereo effect, and that is to create differences on the left to the right hand side. Um, now that might sound pretty obvious because that's essentially how you create a stereo field. You get you can get the mono sound and you can make it, you can duplicate it, put it in one side, put it in another, uh, hard pan them and make one slightly different to the next and uh, you'll get a stereo field. So even if, you know, you just slightly delay it, that's going to make it stereo. But there's, you know, you can do better stuff than that. You know, we, we're a little bit past just delaying one side. Um, I think that using EQ on one side or even distortion and duplicating that effect and making it different on both sides is a really great way of making things stereo. I'm going to show you um, a slightly different approach using filters. So here we've got a just a loop and uh, an atmosphere. In fact, this atmosphere I used in another quick tip on reverb, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to look at the drums. So just a really simple sort of disco 4-4 four, four loop, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it. Now, as soon as we do that, we want to go to our mixer and we want to pan things hard left and right. Now, because we duplicated it, um, it obviously kept things the same level. Um, so we've automatically got the same thing if I play that back, okay? Now, in Logic, um, you can make what's called a track stack, and I'm just going to quickly do that. And that's just going to sum these two tracks together. And now I can fold that away if I want to. And, you know, you've got the same, the same thing. Okay, so these are just summed. It's essentially the same as a, a, a rack in Ableton, I guess. Um, and the same as a combinator in Reason. You get the idea, hopefully. Um, now what we can do is, sorry if I'm pushing through this, but obviously it's a quick tip, so we've got reasonably limited time. Um, I'm going to make a filter, I'm going to put a filter, use the Fab Filter Simplon, one of my favourites, on both, uh, both channels, okay? Now what we can do is, we can treat these as two separate filters, and we can sort of start to adjust them in very different ways. Now this, I wouldn't advise doing this on your main beat, but it's good for a percussion beat. Um, so as long as these are set differently, I don't know if you can hear that, I'm pretty sure you can. We've automatically got this crazy sort of face sound. That's because the filters are set slightly differently. Even if I try and set them in a similar way, you get these cool stereo effects. And it sort of bends your mind a little bit. Now, here's a tip. Try automating it. So, let's go for the right side. Latch, I guess it's this one. Now let's latch on the other side. some reason our movement's not working quite as well on that, but it's still mental. Okay, so now what we want to do is maybe put some delay on the on the main output. And we'll just go with a high pass delay. instant stereo niceness okay so there's just one way creatively you can mess with that but you can essentially put two filters on either side you could set them exactly the same duplicate the setting and just move one off a couple of hertz and boom you've got a stereo effect because like i said at the beginning it's that difference that creates that stereo field and once you've got that you can then start to move things around you can then start affect the master uh, stereo channel 
uh, as one and you you know you get this really expansive stereo effect and you could maybe use that for you know an interlude in your track you know middle eight a breakdown whatever uh, to add a little bit of spice hopefully this has helped and hopefully this has given you some some creative new ideas and uh, if you've got any other things you want me to cover just give me a shout